I know that you get cash flow out of your current agency. Mm-hmm. How does the team tie into these other projects? Do they help with anything? Yeah, absolutely. That's a big part of it. Um, so an e-commerce site that launched um, at the start of the year, like I didn't do anything. Like <laughs> They did everything. I came up with the idea. Um, so it's almost like it. an additional client for them, basically. Yeah, yeah. They they did everything. Um, I I got I paid some Magento developers to to build the site, and then um, it was in a niche that I was already in. So I built another site, and then um, yeah, the graphic designer here designed it all, then converted it to Magento. Then my SEO guy SEO'd it, the head of SEO, and then I, the outreach team built all the links. Like me doing nothing, and that's, <laughs> that's just, awesome. So it means. You, yeah, it means you can deploy a lot quicker, and you can. It's all about speed, really. I wouldn't say it's necessarily about not being able to do it because you guys can do it yourself. But it's all about speed. Like I've achieved a lot in the four years from having staff, um, and at Email Octopus having that one employee, it just helps you massively because my brother's programmer, like through and through, um, and he he still spends ninety percent of his time programming. But then we've got a guy. The marketer next to him that's has worked at startups and that can actually grow hack his way our way through the environment because email marketing is quite competitive. So we're going to have to, you know, do different stuff to break through. Like we did the blog about a billion emails and stuff, and that could did quite well. We did Reddit stuff and all sorts of stuff like that. So just having an employee you can just bring more ideas to the party, and especially if if most of your listeners or some of them are SEOs or web designers. They'll spend half the time actually doing the SEO, <laughs> absolutely, limit, yeah, yeah. and that limits your time. Like, what? What are you going to be? You should be building your business rather than actually doing the SEO because, yeah, you know, when you're doing, you know, yeah. And there's a lot of better people out there. I wouldn't, you know, you're you're never replaceable. Like, you can always find someone that can do something better, no matter how good you think you are. I'm pretty sure you can yeah. always. You can always find someone that do, does it better because that's they're concentrating on, on their job. What I found when I had Bulldog at the start, it's like you, f- you get an employee and then, I don't know where I was going with this, but then you um, <laughs> you just struggle to, you're doing everything and then everything becomes like diluted. So you're doing everything at like 10%. Whereas yeah, if yeah. you get an employee to do, I can't even design, but an example is if you get an employee that does full design full time, what are they going to do the best? Design. If you get a guy that does um, PPC and they're doing that all the time, the results are going to be much better than me doing it at 10% because I've got to do the invoicing, I've got to do bookkeeping, I've got to do HR, I've got to do rent, I've got to pay this, and then I've got to, you know, everything. So everything becomes diluted if you're doing everything on your own. So hopefully your listeners will get a little bit of value from this in terms of actually think about your time more than making a few extra quid so you can um, go out partying with your mates. And don't get me wrong, if that's what you want to do, there's a lot of people that do love to yeah, work. Yeah, it's up to them. Yeah, yeah, long hours. Like If that works for you, um, you're making great margins and great. At the end of the day, if we're all making a living online um, and looking after our own lifestyle, then you've won. But yeah. um, I, I wanted something that didn't require me to do it that much in terms of physical work. I wanted to think bigger picture.